you, you never really know which which boat is going to steal the show and i would say it's quite unusual for a boat built in 1960 to be one of the most talked about and you know popular boats going on but uh that's certainly what we have here today with the recently refit nitwits oh yeah hull number one of the hatteras you know this Amazing. started it all yeah. first fiberglass boat this size mm -hmm. and now it's been modernized it's got like this still got the retro cool look but yeah. all the fishing amenities you need to go do some offshore fishing yeah we're, i'm feeling really lucky today i think the word game changer is something that's thrown around all the time but you, you think about nitwits ushering in fiberglass boats and then, then you look around at the show a lot of people yeah. have had us to thank for that yeah 1960 this Amazing. this did not exist it's really hard no. to think of that way but it was all wood boats yeah this changed everything i'm i think they called it nitwits because people thought they were crazy yeah and, and look at where we are now I well mean, it, it is it's amazing to think because it was like they yeah people were like a boat of glass what you know how is how is that going to work yeah, they really were looked at as crazy so feel very lucky to get on board today and show yeah. you guys a little bit of a closer look. Yeah, well the first thing that jumped out at me was how much they changed the cockpit area. Um, you know, John Morris and his group purchased Hatteras a while ago and yeah. John's obviously a huge offshore fisherman. Yeah. And this boat is built for tuna fishing, big yeah. tuna. You know, the mezzanine seating, this kind of stuff, this just wasn't really done back in the day. There was big tackle boxes and stuff. Right. Uh, they told me they redid this whole bulkhead. Yeah. Um, all new. You got freezer space here, storage here, and then the transom itself with the live well in the center, and they put a tuna door in it. Right. Again, those were just things that were not done back then. Right. Uh, right. So it's definitely modernized. Yeah. But they did such a nice job keeping the look, and you know, using teak, and they've got the classic Murray Brothers chair. Yeah. And yeah. It's just really, really. I didn't nice. even realize that was the original Hatteras logo. It took up, got pointed out before. That, that's cool to see that. I hope they bring that back. That's pretty cool. I, I I would agree. So yeah, she's rigged to fish, mm -hmm. um, and the the interior as well. If you want to. Awesome. Should take a look. Yeah. Let's do it. So again, you know, one thing, you don't see a center door on many boats anymore to enter into the salon, which it, from a fishing standpoint makes so much sense. Um, but they redid some things in here. There used to be a lower station, I believe right on center, which they got rid of. And, you know, it's beautiful in here, all this nice woodwork, um, couches, plenty of seating. There's a bunk, there's a V-berth down below. We could take a quick peek down here. So there's a V-berth up forward and a crew quarters bunk and obviously a nice head down, you know, galley down. Um, this boat's really, I think, engineered more to be a day boat and fish hard, but plenty of livability. You know, and, and another thing, when this boat first came into the world, these were gas powered boats and that's just the technology on the diesel side of things is so much better and there's smaller options and they actually repowered this whole boat with caterpillar these are uh, c7s and it and seems like they were supposed to be in this boat they fit well uh, the captain was telling me the boat cruises in the low 20 knot range and tops out around 29 knots and is a really fuel efficient boat. And they have plans to do some giant tuna fishing later this year. Oh my gosh, I hope I can get this thing closed. So yeah, and, I, and the flybridge too. It's, they kept a lot of the original touches, but modernized tuna tower. It's just, it's awesome. Thanks, Charlie. Really cool. Love being up here on the flybridge. Again, we see that classic Hatteras logo, recently painted. Just such a modern classic. And I love seeing this boat at the show. It just, uh, it shows you how far from, from 1960, not all that long ago, all of, do my quick math, all, all of 63 years and look how the industry has changed where this was a huge boat for its day, modern space age materials. And now you look around in, in less than a generation, how things have changed. 
The other whisper and rumor we're hearing about Hatteras is that Nitwits being here is no coincidence. After a couple of quiet years, they there's talk of future Hatteras models and the and talk of the brand making a really kind of a significant comeback. We got we're gonna stay tuned for that. So for all your Hatteras news, you stay tuned to Angler's Journal and Power Mordiot. And until next time, we'll see you on the water.